I'd be careful what I say from now on if I were you. My grand just died without me because of your stupid surgery. That isn't quite how it happened. In her final moments when she needed me the most, I should have been there. It must be difficult. <laughs> difficult? Oh, you really have no idea, do you? I don't think either of us are going to say anything constructive at this point. So how about we just wrap this up? Unbelievable, you really don't- Samira! Stop. Go home. Be with your family. Okay. Hey, Kev, um, are you- Dawn. What has happened? Samira's grandmother, she passed away. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You, you poor thing. I should have been there. Oh, babe. You know what, Samira? What? I think your grandma chose that exact moment to leave this life because she was so happy knowing that you were off doing something that made her so proud. <laughs> I don't know. Call it the circle of life. She dies knowing you're helping someone live. It's kind of perfect when you think about it. Francesca, do you have a moment? I'm uh, due in a management meeting and then I've got surgery. It won't take long. I just want to apologize for how I spoke to you last night. I was really angry at myself and, and I took it out on you. Emotions like grief can be difficult. But the way you spoke to me was out of line. Again, I am so sorry and it will not happen again. I'm assuming you'll need some time off to make some arrangements and so on? Uh, hopefully a few days at most. I am sorry for your loss. Were you close with your grandparents? Excuse me? Are they still alive? Your, your what are you doing? I'm just, just trying to understand you better. Have I done something that requires understanding? No, no. I, my gran, um, she was very, very special to me, so. Uh, I'm not sure you're coping, Samira. I'm doing my best. Yep. This isn't the place for our personal problems. What is wrong with you? My, my grand just died. Sorry. Have you been attacking others or just me? I'm not myself. Yeah, and I'm not your punching bag. I'm your boss. That was unprofessional. We're doctors, Samira. If we can't work under pressure, we can't work at all. I'm sorry. Oh, take a few days off, get yourself together, then we can reassess. Reassess? This is a high pressure environment. I need professionals that I can rely on. Yeah, white roses and pink lilies. Yeah, they were her favorite. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Yes. I was going to send an email, but I just saw you and thought it would be better to resign in person. Resign? Why would you do that? I made um, a huge error of judgment. Nothing you can't come back from. But you said... What? In our last conversation, that I wasn't cut out for the job. That's what you took from that? Yes. And you would know, so... No, that is so not what I meant. You're a very gifted young surgeon. But I don't have the temperament for the job. I'm... I'm not good at that stuff. I'm so sorry. Please, sit. Yesterday, pressuring you to step up, ignoring what you were going through. Can't apologise enough. I wanted to step up. It was it was my choice. Letting my grand down was my fault. I think that's why I feel so wretched. Please don't think I want you to resign. Nothing could be further from the truth. Thank you. We women, we have to stick together in this business. Can't have the men thinking they've got it all to themselves. That's <laughs> true. And yes, uh, to answer your question, they are alive. 
Sorry, who? My grandparents. Grampy and Nan. <laughs> Grampy. <laughs> that is very cute. <laughs>